well, I've got so many friends over here now. And this young lady came from all the way from uh, uh, Asa, uh, from where? Asa Gaon. Asa to Panjim to collect mangoes? No, I don't know who came where. Everybody came. I don't remember now. Just now she reminded me I came to your know, place to, to buy mangoes. So anyway, I'm not into papayas as such. I'm more into all fruit trees, rambutan, rambutan, which is a, like a lychee. Then I have avocados, then I have mangoes, uh, different types of mangoes. And uh, now what happened, Rico had come to my place and he happened to see a lot of seedlings in poly bags. And suddenly he asked me, what are these? I said, these are papaya seedlings. So he said, well, what are you doing with them? I said, I planted them to give my friends, let them grow some papayas, easiest thing to grow. And uh, it's not very difficult. You get a crop in one year. You don't have to do much work. And then many people started asking me, you know, our plants rot, our plants fall down. Now the main question is, when you get a papaya sapling in a poly bag and you plant it, it should be at the same level as the ground, as the bag, as the plant was in the bag. And you normally plant a mango tree maybe a foot or one and a half foot deeper so it won't topple over and then you fill the mud as the tree grows but with the papaya it has to be a little elevated position so water won't remain near the roots which is the main cause of collar rot and many people have that problem that my plants rot they topple over so first and foremost if you have it on a little raised ground and don't water around the root far away I don't water my plants at all and then you sometimes get a lot of problems of mosaic virus, which I have found is more common with these hybrids like Pusa varieties, uh, Red Taiwan and so many others. So I was looking on the net and then I found the wild papayas don't get these. But anyway, I found two or three plants in my garden getting good papayas and they're growing very well. So last year I collected the seeds, I got the seeds from Pune and I planted them and they were fine. So I got more seeds this year and I germinated them in poly bags and I've been giving people come and take. Just this morning, one gentleman came from Panjim and he took some seedlings. Now the main question in papaya is virus, mosaic virus, which people say, Mingyal told me, some people say you put milk, all this doesn't help. And I'm not going to sit and waste my time spraying the plants every 15 days in pesticide either. Now, what questions do you all want to ask on papaya? Then I'll answer. Now, in papaya, also you will get three sexes. The male plants, the female plants, and the hermaphrodite plants. Some people say my papaya is growing, but no papaya. Now, the male plant has long flowers with small, small flowers along the stalk, with side stalks. The hermaphrodite has small tiny flowers, which will not get papayas. It may, may get a few malformed, misshapen papayas. Then they say, I am not getting any papayas on my tree. Now the female plants get nice big flowers. So those will give you the papayas. Now apart from this, is there anything else you all want to ask me? Because if I go on talking, there is no end to talking on papayas. There are so many cultivars and so many My wife finds that what we get in the Mapsa market are hard. The fruit is hard, the flesh is hard. I don't know why. Ah, now my friend, my friend from uh, Valpoi, Altaf Sheikh, <laughs> he planted 2,000 seedlings of red Taiwan papaya. And when I went to buy Mokara orchids from him, he, I asked him, Altaf, what are you doing with these papaya seedlings? He said, I'm going to extract the pain. I said, are you okay in your senses? First and foremost, you have to get up early morning, start making small incisions on the fruit, green fruit, then collect the latex and then give it to the person who makes the medicine. So then I helped him to put this thing on the seed groups and on the net and we sold all the 2000 plants at 50 rupees each. And he was very happy with my advice and we have become very good friends now. So now, what is the other question you want to ask? Because Nestor asked me about the... Uh, uh, red Lady, I had two plants I brought from Altaf. The fruits were nice. But after one year, I found the plants gone. Now maybe what happens is, 
as I spoke earlier, when we spoke, when we talk about uh, planting from seed, people who do this hybridization to get good papaya of certain quality dwarf plants, dwarf plants, maybe more fruit on the trees, they miss out on certain other characters like disease resistance. Disease resistance, which is important, maybe getting collar rot, uh, being resistant to fusarium. So maybe they miss out on that. So now I found that planting these local types, because before, I don't know when I was young, as many people have said, the old bone papayas are all gone. True, we used to have so many papaya trees just growing wild, tall ones, and so many papayas. We don't see those trees now. But now maybe, I don't know this seedlings I have, you can see the parent trees in my garden if you come. I am getting quite a few papayas, about 10-15 on each plant and I remove one or two every time. And my wife likes papayas because they are a good laxative. Now bananas I have a problem, you have to put stakes, diggy, diggy you have to put, otherwise the plant is going to fall down. Then papa bananas you cannot plant in the same place for two or three generations I would call it. Uh, bananas are grown in alluvial soil like the delta. For one year they take a kharif crop and then maybe a ratun crop and then they uproot everything, keep it fallow and again plant after two years. So the reason is bananas are heavy feeders, heavy feeders. They deplete the soil and after two years you will find your plants are growing in you know, small bunches. Then you have to plant them in a new place. With the papayas, Actually, I don't have much of a problem as such. Now, which are the trees? Pineapples, you get only one pineapple. <laughs> At least papayas you get. A series of papayas, you go on removing one every week or every two weeks, and you can keep on getting something. Now, what else would you like to ask? Yes, they get collar rot. Yes, yes, yes. God alone knows why I don't <laughs> see nowadays all our all our water from our septic tank toilet goes in a soap pit. It goes in a soap pit. And also the kitchen water also goes in a soap pit. Because we don't like these crows and flies and all coming and sitting over there and then coming and sitting on our food. Who knows now? We'll have to now. <laughs> Alice, <laughs> I'll have to ask my son Andrew, who is a professor in chemistry, to take the fruit and analyze it for the toxicity now. <laughs> Possible. Now they say there are so many plants that purify the air inside your house. Now, who believes in all that? I don't believe in all that. Because that is all the... <laughs> because... Yeah, yeah. Now, that day I went to Mapsa, I was just parked my car and looking. There was a big heap of green bananas and that guy comes with a bottle with some, must have had some carbide in that with water, sprinkling nicely, covering with a tarpaulin. And we are eating that fruit. We are eating that fruit now. But <laughs> we can't help it. We want something to eat. We don't want to grow. Huh? Huh? So now if there are too many Alice, you can send some to me. What? <laughs> plant? One now, one banana bunch is over. Papaya? May go one or two years, three years, maybe, we don't know. Two years? Maybe. 
It's like a poultry. First year you get good eggs, 300, maybe 250, 300 a year. Next year, now my hens are not laying also. <laughs> now I had booked. Yes, yes, yes. That is because of the mosaic virus. Mosaic virus. That could also be. Yes. Root rot. Root rot. Crinkled, crinkled, crinkled leaves. Wilting is root rot. Even the leaves may turn curly also. No, the lalita are the ones. So the tree dies off. Anyway, I have some good friends here. This gentleman has come again and again. I like your mangoes. <laughs> he has come again and again. The wife said, give him, give him. Then this, this lady also came for mangoes. So now, Frederick, I gave him some mangoes, but he's never there. I kept on his chair. I said, he will find them. Then he immediately messaged me, thank you very much. Which one? Ah, now that you are talking about that colocasia leaves. There was a talk about terre leaves. Yeah. So I made the bhaji and gave Frederick one because he doesn't, he doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke, and he's a total veg. Unlike me. No, no, I know better. I know better. And he's a total more of a veg. So I made that bhaji and I gave him. He was very happy. Then he asked me, tell me, how do you bake it? So I said, see, first you've got to apply bindache sola or tamarind on your hands or coconut oil. Then you cut the stalks along with the leaves, peel the outs outer, like, you know, uh, bark like of the stem of the leaves. Then you dice them fine into pieces and the leaves also. Again, you sow that with tamarind or binacha sola, overnight then throw the water out and then you cook it. Now what happens is these things contain oxalic acid which causes a lot of itching on your hands and oxalic acid is bad for your kidneys too. There are a lot of things the people are planting, star fruit, star fruit, star fruit. <laughs> no, no, uh, no, no, it's okay. You all can buy the star fruit, eat a few. <laughs> I don't know. You. But as a child, just to come back to this problem. What the doctor is talking about the terrain is very common. No, no, you can use both types. You can use both types. They use the blackish color ones. They call it Adu. I don't know why. Maybe it has less oxalic acid. Then. No, on the fruit you get small latex coming out. Huh? What do you get? On the leaf, no. That is virus. This virus you will get in lady finger. This virus you will get in lady finger. You will get in chili. You will get in tomato. It's a virus which comes with an insect which bites the plant like a mosquito and takes the virus and puts it somewhere else also. Now, I told you, if you spray your plants with pesticide, the, the insects won't come. But I have no time to spray and no energy to spray. So, what do I do then?